you guys, we made it. We're in chapter 11 stoichiometry. So excited. All right, let's start off with the definition of stoichiometry. It's the relationship between the amounts of reactants and products. So we're gonna consider a couple things today. We're gonna consider, is there a law of conservation of particles? Is there a law of conservation of moles? No, I think we're thinking about the law of conservation of mass. Yep, that's probably it. So if this is your second time through this video, go ahead and copy these notes down and try balancing this equation and then push on pause. So we'll balance this equation. Notice that we have three oxygens on the right two oxygens on the left so we're going to need to balance this by uh, switching our odds and evens um, put the two over here and the three here that way we have six oxygens on the left and six oxygens on the right now by doing that i just made four irons on the right so i'm going to need a four here to have four irons on the left So let's consider a couple of things. Let's see if moles are conserved. Four plus three is seven, uh, but we only have two moles on the right hand side. So moles are not conserved. That means that the number of moles between reactants and products can change and that's okay. Let's think about something else. How about particles? Well, there's four particles of iron here. There's three particles of the oxygen molecule here, and there's two particles of iron oxide. That doesn't match either. So particles are not conserved. But let's take a look at something that is conserved. Are there four irons on the left and four irons on the right? Yes, there are. How about oxygen? Six on the left, six on the right, Awesome. So atoms, in a way, are conserved. And this leads to my next point, that mass is conserved. So let's take a look at masses. For iron, there are four of them. If we look at our handy-dandy periodic table, we can look at the weight of iron. It's 55.933. And of course, we have four of them after balancing our equation. So I'm going to multiply that number by four. Now, oxygen is a little bit trickier. There are two oxygens for every oxygen molecule, and there are three molecules all together. So that's a total of six oxygen atoms. And we know oxygen is 15.999 grams. Should be putting my units here. Ooh. Excellent. And we're going to do the math here and figure out if this weighs the same as two molecules of iron oxide. Finish this problem up. You're going to have to do a little bit of this type of thing on your homework where you work out the numbers and see if the law of conservation of mass is conserved. Try it out. Push pause. So if you worked out the math on that one, we see that 319.726 grams on the left does equal that same amount on the right. So law of mass is conserved. Excellent. Conservation of mass. Um, and the second half of this section has to do with practicing writing our mole ratios out. We're going to use mole ratios a whole lot in the second section of chapter 11. So it's really important in uh, section one that we practice writing them out and then we'll definitely apply them in section two. So let's do one of these together and then you'll push pause and try a few more out on your own. We have four moles because these are mole ratios of iron is needed for every three moles of oxygen and you can also oxygen should be double there you can also flip-flop this and represent even more combinations of these amongst all of these possibilities. Try these out, push pause. And there you have it, all six molar ratios for this reaction. You'll have to find uh, some of these on your homework, so good luck.
do well and get that done.